Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Welcome back everyone. We've been dealing with fog for the last few hours and the fog is still dense across the city and really all across the greater Baton Rouge area. Visibility is down to zero miles and winds are still calm at this time. So again, just be very, very careful on your morning commute. But we do have a dense fog advisory that's in effect until 9 a.m. And all of the parishes in our viewing area are included along with parishes across the greater New Orleans area. Again, just all over South Louisiana, we have a dense fog advisory in effect in addition to a few counties in South Mississippi. Mississippi and again visibility is down to zero miles so try to use your low beams and drive very slowly but if you don't have to leave out anytime soon just wait until later in the morning to head out to wherever you may have to go so 65 degrees in Denham Springs 63 in Baton Rouge and 61 in Gonzales and again we've had enough moisture moving back in over the last couple of days that's helped us to see some fog developing in the mornings and our temperatures have cooled to the dew point during the overnight hours we have calm winds so that's allowed for fog to develop so we do have dew points in the low 60s pretty much all around South Louisiana. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s for today. We'll still have plenty of sunshine and we'll see just a few clouds, but overall another beautiful day as we get this new work week started and just close out the last couple of days of October. So we'll still have easterly, southeasterly winds pulling in that warmer air and more moisture. So it is going to be another warm day, a little bit humid. And then for tonight, we'll still have mostly clear skies and also through the overnight hours. We might see patchy fog developing again overnight, but we'll also have lows in the low to mid 60s starting off our Tuesday morning and tomorrow's highs will also be in the mid to upper 80s. We'll have partly cloudy skies. We might see a little bit of fog in the morning and then as we head into the mid morning hours, we'll still have partly cloudy skies continuing. Now we might see just one or two isolated showers trying to develop and pass through, but it still looks like we'll just have another mostly dry day for your Tuesday, but rain chances are expected to increase for the second half of this week as another cold front approaches the area. There's a 10% chance of showers for Wednesday, a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms for Thursday, and then we have a 20% chance for Friday. So isolated showers are possible on Wednesday and Thursday morning. Then as we head into your Halloween afternoon and evening, we'll see more rain moving through and a few showers could still continue overnight into Friday. So just plan accordingly if you are bringing your kids out for trick or treating, the trunk or treats, or to any of the Hallelujah night activities. Estimated rainfall amounts over the next week are around a half of an inch for most of the greater Baton Rouge area. Area. So again, it's nice to be talking about some rain again moving to our forecast because we desperately need it, but we're looking at that for the second half of this week. Highs will be in the 80s all week and morning lows will be in the 60s. 